and let's talk about the sandbox, how to use it and how to log into it. First, what's the sandbox? Well, it's where we play. It is really a simulated HIS with an ED tracker, we call ED launch point with one or two or three patients in it. Also, these patients have charts in power chart here. You can open the chart and actually see what's happening. So what can you do in a sandbox? You can view things, you can order things, you can produce documents. However, there is no echo. You're alone, nothing happens after you order. There are also a few things you cannot do. You cannot use Dragon. Well, you can, the current setting, you just have to dictate, copy and paste into the patient's chart. You cannot split your chart into two columns, so you can document and see the chart at the same time. You cannot add a discharge or admission order using a plus icon. And there are some other few minor things that are missing. Uh, the sandbox is really not a total replica of the production domain. Most importantly, when you get in the sandbox, there is nothing driving your work. You're alone with a couple of patients and that's it. So what can you do there? Well, the best thing to do is to answer a specific question. How do I order an MRI? However, you already have uh, some things you can do. If you go back to our videos, and there's a four or five of them and we're producing more every day, you can reproduce the demos from these videos in the sandbox and play around with it. How can you log in? Well, first you have to be at the Niagara Health computer logged in to your single sign-on account. You can do it physically or you can do it remotely from home. If you don't have remote access or you haven't set it up yet, pause this video, follow this QR code, that'll give you the instructions on how to install it on your Mac at home or on your laptop so you can work from your laptop while you're at work. And now that you've installed it, let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna open a browser window. You can either use Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. They work equally well for this. You open them and you need to navigate to this address. I know it's long, however, you need to write it down and type it in the address bar. What I have done here is I've actually put it in my favorites bar. You just hold the um, icon here and drag it down and that will create a button here that you can use to go back again to the sandbox. Once you're here, you're going to click on Detect Workspace app. This will run after a couple of warning windows. You will need to log in with your Niagara Health username and password. There is a catch, however. The password is your Niagara Health password. The username is actually your domain followed by your mnemonic. What's important to note is that this slash is a backward slash. It's not a forward slash. It's not the one we usually use in text. This is a remnant from the DAWs days and file paths. And if you don't know what DAWs is, great. It means you're young and you have most of your life still ahead of you. NHS backslash your five letter mnemonic and your Niagara Health password. Once you've done that, this will open the storefront. Click on the Sandbox Domain folder. If you double click on this folder, that should bring up a few icons, including FirstNet Sandbox. And in Emerge, that is where you want to go because that is where the tracker is. You open that and you'll need to log in. Pretty easy. There are 50 Emerge Docs that can log in at the same time. They are numbered EDDoc1, EDDoc2, all the way to EDDoc50. The password for all of them is Cerner small letter. Once you've logged in and you've chosen your site, this will open a tracker with a few patients in it. And you can see there have been several nurses already playing in the sandbox with these patients. The sandbox resets every night. So in the morning, it's blank and then it builds as people play in it. Here you can open a Snow White's file and it opens in Power Chart and that is her chart. Happy demoing, guys. Enjoy the sandbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. You know where to find me if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for your time. Thank you.